Hey guys, Games for Life here, and in today's video we're gonna be building a tungsten carbide farm and this is gonna be extremely helpful for the AMPP event. Now this is a pretty interesting farm, so I'm really excited to show it to you guys. And yeah, it's a little bit weird compared to the other farms I've done. And yes, I did go a little bit overboard on the carbon side. We've got way too much organic, but that's okay, it just gets backed up and it doesn't use the soil until it has enough space to place its organic. Probably could have saved on a few resources by building only one soil centrifuge, but that doesn't really matter, it looks better like this. Anyway, but this is the star of the show, this is the automated trade platform section, and it works great. It's getting us Wolframite instantly, it gets melted into tungsten right away, and we've got auto arms to do all the dirty work for us. So what's my input into all of this? I just have to bring some soil from time to time and some scrap. I could have had some auto arms bring the scrap right from the scrap farm, but I decided to not do that for this video because the scrap farm is over there and this farm is over here because that's the only place I had to put it. But anyways, those are just details. What's actually important is that in just a second, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build all of this so you can have all the tungsten carbide in the world. Bear with me here. But you might think, why would I need tungsten carbide? Like, why? Why tungsten carbide? Why not nanocarbon alloy? Well, first, because that would be a longer video, so I don't feel like doing that now. But we'll do a nanocarbon alloy farm in the future, don't worry. And then the second thing would be, it's the MPP event right now. Both tungsten carbide and nanocarbon alloy are needed, but you can build this farm much easier. So I wanted this video to be for more people, so even kind of beginners can build this and complete the AMPP event faster so you don't have to spend a bunch of hours just going around searching for compound to complete the whole event that way. I mean people have completed it with just compound, there's nothing wrong with that, you can do that, it just takes a lot of time. So tungsten carbide is the way to go in my opinion, it's right in the middle, you get 5 points for each tungsten carbide, one nanocarbon alloy gets you 15 points but it's like 10 times harder to craft so you get what I'm saying right? But that's not all you can do with tungsten carbide, you can use it to get a drill mod 2, a drill strength 1 for your rover, a drill strength 2, you'll need it in order to build a large shredder for your scrap farm for example, You'll need it for a VTOL, for an extra large shredder, and for an auto extractor. So tungsten carbide is really important for things like this that you can use in automation and that will really help you get better at the game and play it much easier, if you know what I'm saying. That's why you need a tungsten carbide farm. Now let me show you how to do it. So this is how to build the tungsten carbide farm. It's not really difficult. All you need to do is follow what I'm doing step by step. So I'm gonna show you all the materials you need, all the items you need to craft, where to place them and how to link them up. Now this farm has three different sections. We've got the automated trade platform, which creates the tungsten. We'll have a separate video entirely dedicated to an automated trade platform, so in this video I'm just gonna quickly go over it. Then the second section is the carbon farm, which obviously creates the carbon. And we had a video in the past where we did that, we also had a glass and a ceramic farm in that same video. They're actually right behind me there. And then for the third and last section, that's the chemistry lab platform where all the ingredients get turned into tungsten carbide and they get stored into medium resource canisters. All right, let's get started with the automated trade platform. To start building it, you'll need three medium platform A's and four small platform A's. Place them like this and let's unpack them all. And then I'm gonna show you what goes on each of these platforms. Now, obviously in the center, big platform will have our trade platform that's the most important part of this entire setup this platform is reserved for scrap canisters you can either link this up to your scrap farm you can have like an auto arm that grabs the scrap but our huge scrap farm is all the way over there so we're just gonna manually take the scrap and put it here and we're gonna do that when we bring the soil anyways all right so now these three small platforms the one in the middle should remain empty and the other two should have auto arms on them. Now this platform right here should also have an auto arm and the very last platform is where your items get stored so you could have medium resource canisters or whatever you want. But for our application here we're just gonna get Wolframite so we don't want to store the Wolframite, we want to actually smelt it into tungsten. So we'll smelt them here 
If you don't have these portable smelting furnaces or if you think they are too expensive, then you can place a bigger platform with a normal smelting furnace here and that works just fine. And here's where the magic happens. You'll want this auto arm to be turned on in the beginning and you'll want this one to be turned on. You'll want to have a storage sensor on this small platform right here and then a count repeater over on this side. So I'm gonna get this connected. You can select however many counts you wanted to make before sending the trade platform off. In our case, we're gonna get Wolframites with three scrap for two Wolframites. So we're gonna be sending six scrap at a time, which means we're gonna set this to six. There we go. Make sure this is set to full or empty. All right, now you'll want to place something in the selector slot of this auto arm. I'm actually gonna take it off until we do that because Otherwise, it will take the scrap, and that's not good. Alright, so while that is doing its thing, let's move on to the carbon farm. So we're gonna start with one of these big platforms. We'll obviously have some soil on it. Then two soil centrifuges right here. Got some medium storages. Then we've got the platform with an auto arm on it. Then we've got another extra large platform. Here we're gonna smelt the organic into carbon. Then all of that goes into the chemistry lab. This is where all our tungsten carbide is gonna get stored. So we have four medium resource canisters. And now all we need is a place for the tungsten. We'll put another auto arm on here. And there we go, it's all connected now. So we've got our tungsten coming in this way. And we'll have to make sure it doesn't get pulled into these canisters, of course. But yeah, all we need to do is set this to tungsten carbide, set it on repeat, turn it on. And then all of these should be set to organic, on repeat, turn them on. And now all we need is two of these small soil canisters. So I'm gonna go and grab those. And yeah, that's basically how you build it. In case you're wondering, yes, I did film the second part of the video first. And then I filmed the first part of the video. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And also tell me in the comment section below what other farms you'd like to see me build. I'm really excited to use all of this tungsten carbide for the AMPB event and get all of the rewards. So those should be the very next videos on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to see them. And yeah, that's basically it for today. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Astroneers.